Let's start with the mission control. It's a very handy function, especially when you work with many applications or windows at once. My name is Luke and I'm here to help you master all the techniques for using your Mac. The easiest way to show you how mission control works is by example. Here we have opened our project folder in Finder and then we type text in pages, making some notes and use Safari for searching information and on and on and on. You can try to organize these windows on the screen by resizing, moving or minimizing the windows, but that's not gonna work. So a better way to do this would be to put pages and notes on a separate desktop where you can work on it. Then move Safari on another one too, so you can easily perform your searches there and keep another desktop free. Let's do it using Mission Control. There are many ways how to trigger Mission Control. As always you can use shortcut which in this case is Control key plus up arrow. We can also press this icon on the dock, but I prefer to use a simple three finger swipe up gesture. I think I have never used a shortcut key for this, it can't be easier than a single swipe. Again, depending on your predefined settings and priorities, the gestures might be different. So quickly head on the system preferences and check it out. You will find it on the trackpad on more gestures tab. I will swipe with three fingers up and that will take me to a mission control and I can see I have only one desktop here at the top. All my apps are shown here with these little blue boxes around them as I move my cursor over there. Now I want to put these two apps, my work apps, on a separate desktop. I am going to hit the plus button here at the top right and it creates desktop number 2. So now I can simply drag pages and notes to desktop number 2. So you see. I've got desktop 1 and desktop 2. You can move to another screen by clicking on either first or second one, or by another simple gesture. Remember, three finger swipe up brings the mission control, and another three finger swipe left or right will take you directly to another desktop. Now you want to use Safari to search other things. Let's add another third desktop by pressing the plus button again. And you can actually just drag the window to the edge of the screen and it will move it to the other one. It also works with files and folders. But more about it will be in the next video, where I show you some useful techniques for moving files and folders. When you finish work, you can clean it up a bit. I don't recommend to keep many desktops open if you don't use them, because they might take a lot of CPU. But honestly I have two or three desktops open all the time on my MacBook Pro and I don't have any problem. I hope you find this tutorial useful. And if you don't want to miss the next one, subscribe to the channel. This is Luke and I will see you again.